Hey guys, it's Quitty Quits here, and today I'll be showing you how to use Tea Noodle on PC. So if you don't know what Tea Noodle is, it's basically a program that people use to generate official WCA scrambles, and you can use them at home as well. So my friend Ram Thaka is making a Mac version of this, so I'll put his in the description. So the first thing you want to do is go on the WCA website, which is worldcubeassociation.org. And then you just want to go to this regulations tab here and then click on scrambles. So it'll bring to this page here, and it will have the latest uh, update of Tea Noodle here. So you just want to click on that and download it. Okay, so now that it's finally downloaded, you just want to click on that and it should bring you to a browser. This may also take a while to load. Okay, so it brings you to this browser. Uh, you have Legacy UI and then log on to the WCA. Uh, you want to click on Legacy UI. Okay, so this is where the fun stuff is. So you can set a title for whatever you want the competition to be. So if there's an official WCA competition, this is what they'd use as a title. So uh, let's use New Zealand Nationals as an example. Uh, New Zealand Nationals 2019 or something, something like that, the competition name. So you could do this for like online competitions as well. So you could also set a password uh, with whatever you want, just so no one else can actually access it. And here's all the events, so let's say I want a competition with uh, two rounds of 3x3, three three, uh, one round of OH, of course three rounds of clock, best event, um, maybe some five lines. See so basically each number indicates one round of the event as you can see here. Uh, so clock round 1, 2, and 3, that's 3 rounds of clock, 3x3 uh, three three, round 1 and 2, so whatever, whatever number you use is the amount of rounds you have. Of course, 10 rounds of FMC, okay, one, one round of FMC, <laughs> that's one attempt. And let's just chuck in 2 rounds of 7x7, seven seven. so this is our competition that we've set up, uh, now we can uh, adjust these ones here. So you can change how many copies you want of each one in case you want extra. Um, Online competitions, you might want to change this. Uh, official competitions need extra scrambles, but if you're doing an online competition, you can remove the extras if you want to. The attempts, this is, I'd keep this the same. That's how many attempts you do in an official competition, unless you're doing some sort of race where you don't do the, the normal amount of attempts. Okay, so now you've got everything ready, you just want to download it by clicking scramble. This is also one of the most time consuming parts of this, as it needs to generate every single scramble you've chosen down here. Okay, so now it will download a folder with the same name as your competition that you set it to. So you want to click on that, and then you've got all the scrambles. So, um, you can get the password ones by clicking here. So th this has all the scrambles with the passwords, which isn't too helpful unless you're doing it for an actual competition, because you obviously don't want people seeing the scrambles. So, you can click on any one of these, and it will ask you for a password, and the passwords will be available in this, uh, notepad here. So these are all the passwords here, and only this folder here, the one with the name of the competition you set it to, those are the only ones that actually have passwords. So if you're just doing this as an unofficial competition or just casually, you want to go into printing here. Then you'll be able to go into scramble sets, and then you'll be able to have every single round that you set without a password, so you can just click on them easily and it works. So let's go into 7 by 7 round 2, and wait for that to load. And here you go. You have all these, uh, you can print them with however you want to do it. But yeah, there's always scrambles. Thanks for watching, goodbye everyone.